If you've been training Muay Thai for quite some time, you're probably familiar with the following brands. Vertex. Twins. And everybody's favorite, Winnings. Did you know there are actually a ton of other brands in Europe? Boom, stay tuned. What's up guys, this is Albie T from Combat Culture and today we're gonna to be going over nine European brands of boxing gloves. So the first pair we're gonna go over are the Decathlons. And the specific model I have today are the Decathlon Outshock 900s. Now, if you're not familiar, Decathlon is a European sports retailer. Uh, if you are from the States, you know, they're similar to Sports Authority or Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, they're pretty much found all over Europe and also parts of Asia. As a matter of fact, I think I saw a couple when I was in Thailand. So Decathlon has a decent range of boxing gloves. These specific gloves that I have right here are made from synthetic leather. One thing I do like about these gloves is that they do have the a secure velcro wrap which you can see right on over here like that so it does fit securely on your hand keeping it nice and snug inside now what i will say is that they are extremely stiff right see i can't really bend my wrist now that tells me two things okay now the first thing is that um, it does offer a great wrist support because it's so stiff here chances are you're not going to mess up your wrist if you punch incorrectly which you shouldn't be to begin with um, however the second thing is that because it's so stiff right here it doesn't really offer a lot of maneuverability so therefore i can't really move my arms a whole lot or i can't really move my wrist a whole lot when it comes to clinching these would probably not be the ideal gloves right just because i can't really get my arms around my opponent's neck and i can't even bend with the wrist for the most part, right? Well, funny motion. Aside from that, in terms of protection, these do offer really good protection. There's a lot of dense foam right in the knuckle area. I mean, if you can see alone right here, if you can see the side profile, that's a lot of protection right there. I've already mentioned the protection on the wrist. So if you are new to the sport, these gloves aren't a bad choice, you know, being that they are easy to find for the most part, decathlons all over Europe and also parts of Asia. The price point, I think these were about 50 euros or so. So it's a fairly small investment. As you develop within the sport, you may want to look into other gloves down the line. But you know, if you are starting off, these aren't bad. All right guys, so the next brand we're gonna cover are the Leonis. So Leonis been around since 1947. They are an Italian brand. So just like Everlast, Leone has a huge product line ranging from entry level gloves that are suitable for beginners all the way to professional grade level, which are suitable for professional fighters. The gloves that I have today are more on the entry level side and they are the ambassador gloves. In terms of these gloves right here, these are your basic beginner gloves. Um, really no frills about it. They do come in a couple of different colors. I, I will say Leone definitely does have better gloves within their lines. This is probably not the best representation, um, but again, these are beginner gloves, right? So, you know, when it comes to beginner gloves, you probably want something that's gonna be a lower investment that does the job. I think these will do it. Um, in terms of the gloves themselves, I mean, it's a very basic glove, like I mentioned already. Stitching on here looks fine. You could tell that these were likely mass produced, not handmade. Um, um, they do have the Leone logo on there. Pretty simple looking glove. Um, in terms of protection, good amount of foaming at the top here. Wrist protection leaves a bit to be desired. There is decent ventilation with these gloves, but aside from that, there's not a whole lot more I can say. I don't think these gloves will last through the test of time. I mean, honestly, putting these gloves on, they do remind me of the Everlast gloves, the very, very basic ones. So with that said, you know, if you're in the market to really just grab your first pair of gloves, if you're thinking about just doing a trial class and you don't want to use the gym loaner gloves or they don't have any you need something in a pinch i think these will do honestly at this price point you can probably find gloves that'll last you a lot longer um, that are much higher quality in my opinion and like I mentioned earlier, Leone definitely has better gloves within their product line. Although at the price point they do sell it for, it gets pretty competitive. So the next brand we're gonna cover are the King Pros. Now you have probably seen these quite a bit, whether you're shopping in Europe or in Thailand. Right, And the reason why is because this brand was originally founded in Thailand in 2016. And now they're actually owned by Booster, which is the reason why you can find them in both Thailand and Europe. Now the specific model I have today is the Star Air model. One thing I really like about these gloves is that they do come in a really small form factor. 
Now the gloves do have a really snug fit and you'll come to find that they're very similar to some of the booster builds as well because they are owned by the same company. A couple of things to highlight about these specific pair of gloves is that there is a lot of palm support. So unlike a lot of the other gloves that I've reviewed, these do actually have some padding right here where the palms are. Um, also the strap in itself does go fully around right so with that said you know these fit on really snug and they're pretty secure once you put them on um a little too snug right when i do put hand wraps on these do get pretty tight so i'd imagine there's gonna be a little bit of a break-in period just keep that in mind if you're buying these gloves one thing i will say is because of the extra padding here on the palm part of me thinks that these are probably going to be better gloves for kickboxing rather than muay thai it's still good for muay thai but i think especially for kickboxing because a lot of times when it comes to kickboxing i know that you guys block with your hands right especially head kicks and stuff like that right and having the extra padding there is definitely going to help in the long run right just absorbing all those kicks aside from that the designs for the king pro gloves are clean and simple and they're also really good at the price point so these gloves cost me about 53 euros right which is a very very competitive price point compared to a lot of the other gloves that i've reviewed and also some of the gloves that i'm going to show you guys later today my only concern with these gloves specific to these gloves not this brand per se is that the gloves are a little shorter the finger box is a little tight and i don't have the biggest hands in the world so that could be a concern for some of you with larger hands and also like i said you know these are pretty snug okay and i don't have any hand wraps on right now so i'd imagine having some hand wraps on it's going to make it even more snug and it could lead to an uncomfortable break-in period and also i'm a little bit concerned about ventilation although there is a little slit right here for airflow to go in and out there aren't any in the palm area so you know it's something you'll have to keep in mind as well if you're working with these gloves is that once you're done make sure you air them out properly all in all i'm a big fan of these gloves especially at this price point if you find these gloves definitely give them a shot so the next brand I'm going to go over is actually a really big name in the European circuit and that is the Booster Fight Gear brand. They're widely available all over Europe and also parts of Thailand. Um, the brand in itself was founded in 1994 in Belgium and they've established themselves as a really big name in the kickboxing and Muay Thai circuit. Now the glove that I have is the Booster BGL and my first impression is that the build and overall look of the glove is very similar to the King Pros I just reviewed. They have the palm padding right here. The Velcro design is identical. Now the main difference between the two gloves is that this comes at a much longer form factor. If I were to compare the two, you can tell the difference, right? Right there, see? So like I said earlier, Booster's a really big name in the kickboxing circuit. And that's part of the reason why I believe the padding was made right here, right? Just because I think it suits, you know, the kickboxing sport a lot more than it does say boxing or Muay Thai. Because again, you know, when it comes to kickboxing, a lot of times you're blocking a lot more kicks with your hands, right? Because it's a very, you know, high volume, high impact sports much more often you're trading blows, you know, and having any kind of extra protection here is gonna help mitigate any damage and help drive the longevity of both fighters. So the fit in itself is very similar to the King Pro gloves. Like I said, you know, the make and model, they're both very similar. The gloves are longer for the most part, you know, it goes much further down my forearm. Uh, but aside from that, in terms of snugness, it's quite similar. I would say the last pair of gloves, the King Pros are a little bit more snug than these are. But aside from that, I have the same concerns with ventilation. Now, obviously, these being bigger gloves they're probably more well suited for folks with bigger hands in terms of the make and overall quality i think just like the king pros these are excellent gloves at an excellent price point um, honestly these are probably easier to find than the king pros because again this is a really big name within you know the kickboxing and muay thai circuit right so again it's a really respected brand these are some solid gloves that'll probably last you quite some time you know they're really well made if you're in the market for some gloves and you come across the booster brand you really can't go wrong all right the next brand we're gonna go over are the super pros it's uh, these guys right here now the super pro brand uh, was found in 1978 in the Netherlands so it goes without saying that these are some pretty well-known brands within the Dutch kickboxing scene uh, aside from that these were my main pair of go-to gloves when I was training out in Amsterdam As a matter of fact I did most of my sparring with these gloves here so I don't know if you see the blood, right? Most of the Dutch, they bleed green. That's why it's green. Right away, some of the main differences between these gloves and some of the ones I've covered before is A, they do not have the padding, 
right? You see right there. Um, and also there is a bit more ventilation on there. And there's a, I feel like there's a lot more padding on the knuckle area, right? So wait, the, the, the padding distribution is different from the previous gloves. So like I said earlier, I use these gloves mainly for sparring in Amsterdam and I never got hurt using these gloves. There wasn't a break in period either. My only concern with these gloves is that inside the gloves, it's a fabric type material, right? Um, and I noticed that they would absorb my sweat a lot more than some of the other gloves I use. And you know, if I didn't have time, if I didn't take the time to air it out, I could imagine that over time it'd become more of an issue, you know, catching on bacteria and just really starting to smell and stink up. And like I mentioned in one of my other videos, if you don't take good care of your gloves, once they start to stink, that's it, when I know return. Aside from that, you know, there's really good wrist protection. It does go pretty far up my forearm right here. And you know, there's lots of protection. Like I said, there is good amount of distribution with the foam. And also in terms of snugness, it's not so snug where it's uncomfortable when I have hand wraps on, but once I do have hand wraps on, it's a pretty good, decent snug, but not so much where it's cutting off circulation and it's uncomfortable to train, right? So keep that in mind that, you know, you're probably not gonna deal with that big of a break in period. Now, these gloves are a bit wider. They do, in some ways, remind me of my booms, right? So keep that in mind if, you know, you will need to travel with these gloves, how much space they're going to take in your bag. But, you know, aside from that, these are a solid pair of gloves. They did cost a little more. They costed me about 100 euros or so. But again, um, I enjoyed using these gloves. And if you do come across this brand or this specific glove right here, definitely worth a look. The next brand we're going to cover is Peter Yan. And if you're not familiar with Peter Yan, it is a boxing centric store located in Amsterdam. And the only reason why I stopped upon these gloves is because I was gear shopping and I stopped upon Peter Yan's. As a matter of fact, it's where I bought most of my gloves when I was in Amsterdam and I decided to buy some of their health brand gloves. So these were my main pair of gloves when I was drilling in Amsterdam. Sparring, I was using the Super Pros, but when it came to drilling, I was using these guys right here. Although these are basic gloves, I feel as if they're very well made. It's a solid, all around glove. I mean, really no frills as you can tell right here. It has good wrist support, good padding, decent ventilation on there, really snug fit. And like I mentioned with kickboxing centric gloves, it's got the padding right here, right where the palm is. But aside from that, I mean, I, I really enjoyed using these gloves. Unfortunately, they're pretty hard to find unless you are in the Amsterdam area and you go to the Peter Yan shop. And honestly, at the price point that they're selling these gloves for, there's probably gloves that are just as good or maybe even better. But if you do find yourself in Amsterdam, I definitely recommend checking out the Peter Yan shop. The staff there is extremely helpful. They've been there for a very, very long time. Aside from the house brand, they have plenty of other brands as well. And they also have a punching bag there too. So not only would you get to try out the gloves, but you also get to put them in action as well. So the next brand we're going to cover is probably one of the biggest brands in Europe. Um, I actually saw them all over Asia as well, but that is the Joya Fight Gear brand. So Joya offers a wide range of products within all of martial arts, even when it's just their gloves alone. I mean, they have gloves all the way from entry level all the way to premium level gloves specifically the Joya Gear subdivision, which has their more premium level stuff. Chances are, if you go to any fight shop in Europe or you go to any website that sells gear in Europe, you're probably gonna find Joya. Now, the specific gloves that I have are the Joya Kickboxing Falcon gloves. And I can tell you right away that these are more than likely designed with kickboxing in mind. Um, and I can also say that the design in itself really do remind me of the Hayabusa T3s, especially the way the glove is fastened with the Velcro right there with that double fastened right there. So the build and the fit of the gloves, again, really remind me of the Hayabusa T3s. It's a really snug fit, but it's a very compact glove as well, see? Aside from that, it has really good wrist protection because of the way the Velcro is situated. Also has really good ventilation as well. It's a pretty snug fit, but not so much that you should expect a huge break in period. I can definitely say these gloves were designed with hand and wrist protection in mind, while also at the same time offering a good range of motion as well. So if you're trying to clinch with these, these aren't gonna be a problem. So because these are so widely available and they have such a huge line of products that range from all different price points. If you are in the market for your first or second pair of gloves, I think Joya is definitely a brand to look into. So the next brand we're going to cover needs no introduction. They are the Adidas gloves. I'm pretty sure most of you know what Adidas is. They are a huge European brand that specializes in all things sports. Most people probably associate Adidas gloves with their cheaper line that you could probably find at the big box sporting goods stores, but they do have a premium line as well. As a matter of fact, a lot of high level boxers 
use Adidas as their main boxing gloves, but it's not as common within Muay Thai. So the model we're covering today is the Speedtail 350. One unique thing about these gloves is that they're actually made from cactus leather. So if you are somebody with sustainability in mind, these would definitely be worth looking into. They're very sleek, a nice minimalist design. Um, I can definitely tell you just from the looks of the gloves, they're probably designed with boxing in mind rather than kickboxing or Muay Thai. But that's not to say that you can't train with these gloves. A couple of things to note about the gloves is that they fit on really snug. They have excellent ventilation, solid weight distribution all over with their padding, and it comes at a highly competitive price point. And as I mentioned at first, these are probably better suited for boxing rather than kickboxing or Muay Thai. But if you're just looking to train some pads you know anything that's not sparring these are good gloves to have not to say that you can't spar with these gloves but i just think there are gloves that are more well suited for sparring when it comes to muay thai and kickboxing all right guys and the last brand we're going to cover today are the fly premium x super loop gloves so if you're not familiar with fly they are widely considered the winnings of europe it's a uh, uk based brand that's been around since 2012 and over the last 10 11 years or so they've been building up the reputation as the go-to premium line in Europe. So the two major lines right now is the X line and the line without the X, right? And the main difference between the two is that the X line is made from artificial leather compared to the non-X line, which is made from genuine leather. So depending on how much that matters to you, you can decide which one's the better glove. Now, obviously there is a price difference between the two in terms of durability and longevity. Obviously there's a difference between artificial leather and genuine leather. But with that said, you know, these are still premium gloves. I think aside from the material that was used to create the glove, but really that's the main difference between the two gloves everything else is exactly the same now what i will say about these gloves is that they definitely are premium gloves they feel like premium gloves once you put them on you can feel right away that it's a nice good snug fit there's good protection all around nice good snug fit around the finger box right here as you can tell uh, good ventilation as well and good wrist protection but also a good range of motion and also just looking at the gloves themselves you can tell this is definitely a premium glove that the company put a lot of thought and care into just from the stitching to the way that the glove molds to your hands and i'll be honest with you when i first got these gloves i really expected to be spending a lot more than what i did spend i think it was about 132 dollars or so which is on the more steep end but when you compare with other gloves that are more on the premium side for example your winnings your claydos you know this is actually not bad for what you're paying so when you're comparing with other gloves in the higher price points such as winnings claydos even hayabusa's this is actually on the lower end unless you're talking about the genuine leather version right but with all that said i think these are a solid pair of gloves made from a really reputable company um, if you are in the market for something that's different outside of you know the glove the, the brands that i've just named at first these are definitely worth a look i've enjoyed using these um, as one of my main pair of training gloves i know i do have a lot of gloves but i gotta tell you these are you know slowly becoming one of my favorite gloves right now in my uh, big bag of gloves that i use all right guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, I know that when it comes to shopping for boxing gloves, there's a huge, huge variety and spectrum of gloves to choose from. And hopefully this video you know, provided a bit more awareness in terms of what some of the other brands are that's available to you. If you did like this video, do us a solid by hitting the like and subscribe button. Again, it goes a long way to support the channel. We do have a lot of videos that we're gonna come out with in the next couple of weeks, so please stay tuned. If you guys have any suggestions in terms of what you guys wanna see, please drop a comment below but until then keep training stay healthy and be safe we are coming to take over the earth you will comply peacefully or there will be violence <laughs>